the major landforms. Extensive flat, low-lying land areas are known as plains. Here in this chart, you can see the definition of plains. Plains are flat, low-lying land areas. For example, the northern plains of India. The word plain has come from the Latin word planum, which means level ground. The Great Plains of Mississippi in North America, the Indo-Gangetic Plains of India, the Wangho Plains of China, the Amazon Basin of South America are examples of large plains. Plains are classified into different types. Follow the chart. Erosional Plains, Depositional Plains, Structural Plains, Abyssal Plains. Here I am going to discuss each plane with example. The first type of plane that I am going to discuss now is the erosional plane. Here in this chart you can see it's written erosional planes are formed by agents of degradation. For example, the Niagara plains in the USA. The erosional agents like the wind, running water, glacier, they carve the earth's surface and smoothen the irregularities of the earth's surface and convert them into low undulating plains called the penny plains. The second type of plane is the depositional plane. In this chart, it is clearly written that the planes which are formed by the depositional activities of the wind, river and sea are depositional plains. For example, the Great Northern Plains of India is formed by the deposition of alluvium by rivers. The third type of plane is the structural plane. Now how are structural planes formed? See in this chart, it's written structural planes are formed by endogenetic forces. Now, what are these endogenetic forces? These endogenetic forces are the forces which are acting inside the earth. Now, the example of structural plane is the Great Plains of the USA. Structural planes are the most structurally depressed areas of the earth's surface and they give some of the most extensive natural lowlands on the earth's surface. The fourth type of plane which I am going to discuss now is the abyssal plane. Now let us see what is an abyssal plane. An abyssal plane is an underwater plane on the deep ocean floor. For example, the largest abyssal plane is the Song plane in the North Atlantic. Now an abyssal plane is a large flat sediment covered areas of the deep ocean floor. The importances of planes are enormous. To start with, it can be said that planes are the most productive agricultural regions of the world because planes are covered with thick deposits of alluvium brought down by rivers. So many crops can be grown in this fertile land. Secondly, planes provide the flat level land. So building of settlements and industries are possible on the planes. Thirdly, it is easy to establish a dense network of roads and railways on the plains because plains have a flat level land. Fourthly, coastal plains are suitable for fishing, trade and agriculture. In this part of landform chapter, I have discussed about plains, the various types of plains, and importances of planes. But if you have any queries regarding any landform, you can send me mail in my mail ID, sravanivamsclass at gmail.com.